Hi everyone, um, today's assembly is going to be on the meaning of Christmas from a Christianity point of view and how we celebrate Chris, uh, Christmas at home. So we're going to start off by thinking about what the meaning of Christmas is from both a Christianity point of view because Christmas is a, a, a Christian celebration, a Christian festival. Then what we're, then what we're going to do, we're going to sort of think about what the meaning is of Christmas uh, for you guys and how we celebrate that um, within sort of Manchester and then within our, our country of the UK as well. So the first task I'm going to ask you to do is just pause the video and have a have a bit of a think, have a discussion with Inform, maybe a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes, no more than no more, no more than that, and just think about what does Christmas mean to you? How do you celebrate Christmas at home? How do you celebrate Christmas with your family? What is the meaning of Christmas? Why is Christmas a, a, a festival? Why is it celebrated? Pause the video and have a think about that. Now you should have had time to think about that. What we're going to do now, we're going to move on now you've had that discussion. Obviously, when we think about Christmas, we usually think about Father Christmas. We usually think about Christmas trees. We usually think about presents and things like that. That's sort of the main thing that people think about when we think about Christmas. A lot of people, though, don't think about this. So a lot of people don't really think about the religious side of it and why that religious side of it is so important. And that is the main reason why we celebrate Christmas because of the Christianity aspect of the, of the festival as well. Obviously, the main reason for celebrating Christmas is to celebrate the birth of, uh, of Jesus. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to watch this clip, um, which sort of talks about why, why we celebrate Christmas in terms of the Christianity side of it. And then we're going to also think about the, the story and the main sort of storyline behind that as well. Question, why do we celebrate Christmas? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. And afterwards, I'll share some helpful resources. So stick around to the end. Christians the world over celebrate Christmas in honor of the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem. Various Christmas traditions have been associated with the celebration of Christmas and different cultures celebrate different ways. The unifying factor is the historical fact that Jesus was born around 5 BC. The angel who appeared to the shepherds the night of Jesus' birth said, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. We celebrate Christmas because, as the angel said, the birth of Jesus Christ is good news. Good news is meant to be celebrated. In fact, the angel said the news of Jesus' birth would cause great joy and would be for all the people. The joyful celebration would be universal. People around the globe would be glad for this occasion. We celebrate Christmas because, as the angel said, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. The three titles the angel applies to Jesus are important. Jesus is the Savior who delivered us from sin and death. He is the human Messiah, or Christ, who fulfills the law and the prophets, showing that God is faithful. And he is the divine Lord who has entered our world. The Almighty has taken on human flesh. God and man have been fused together in an indivisible eternal bond. God truly is with us. In celebrating Christmas, we celebrate the Savior because we needed deliverance. We celebrate the Christ in whom all of God's promises are yes and amen. We celebrate the Lord who in humility took on the very nature of a servant for our sakes. We celebrate Christmas with gift giving because of the indescribable gift that God gave to us. We celebrate Christmas by stringing lights because the light of the world has come to us. We celebrate Christmas with carols and choruses because they are expressions of joy and follow the example of Mary and Zechariah and Simeon and the angels, all of whom exalted the Lord in poetry. We celebrate Christmas by decorating evergreen trees with stars and angels and tinsel because of the eternal life Jesus brings. And the stars and angels and beauty were all associated with Jesus' birth. In celebrating Christmas, we celebrate the love and condescension of God. In Texas, in 1987, a toddler by the name of Jessica McClure fell into an eight-inch well casting. Down she went, becoming stuck 22 feet below the ground. Once people discovered that baby Jessica was in the well, they took immediate action. They didn't tell her to find a way to climb back up, and they didn't just shout down happy thoughts to encourage her. No, they went down to where she was and got her. They did whatever it took. Rescuers worked nonstop for 58 hours to free her. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve fell. 
down they went, dragging all humanity with them into the darkness and death of sin. And what did God do? He did not tell us to find our own way out of the mess we were in. And he did more than shout down happy thoughts to us from heaven. No, he came down to where we were and got us. That's what Christmas is all about. God coming down to rescue us, to do whatever it took to deliver us from sure death. When even one person is in a life-threatening situation, we understand what has to be done. When God looked down at our sinful planet, he saw a whole world of people in mortal danger. We celebrate Christmas because it was at Christmas time that the rescuer of all mankind came to save us from the hopeless situation we were in. God did not just stay in heaven. He came down to where we are. So as we've just seen in the video there, there is quite a lot going on in terms of the religious points of why we actually celebrate Christmas. And now on the on the slide to some images of what Christians do to celebrate Christmas um, in terms of the actual celebration aspect. So many of you in primary school have probably taken part in the nativity and sort of the nativity story uh, where obviously Mary and Joseph um, obviously again give birth to Jesus in the stables um, and obviously the wise men turn up and provide Jesus with gifts again which is part of the reason why we give gifts at Christmas. Um, Lots of uh, Christians go to church at Christmas uh, and celebrate um, ce celebrate different things within the church at Christmas time. And then obviously people get together and celebrate with their families and have Christmas lunch uh, and do different things with their families like that as well. So why, obviously the main things we celebrate at Christmas and we know is Father Christmas and there is obviously Christmas trees as well. So the meaning behind each of those things are the fir tree is a green all year round tree. So it grows to its full potential all year round, representing everlasting hope, which again is part of the religious symbol of Jesus uh, being born with, with Christmas time as well. And the needles point upwards towards heaven as well. Obviously heaven's meant to be looking up and that's why the needles point up as well. Father Christmas symbolizes kindness and generosity as well, which is why Father Christmas is such an important symbol at Christmas time. Presents, as I've just mentioned, we give presents at Christmas because three wise men took gifts to the newborn baby Jesus uh, and that's why we give them as well. God gave mankind the gift of Jesus as well, which is another reason why we celebrate and give gifts in that way as well. So the last thing I'd like to do as an assembly, um, discuss with your form, this is quite a sort of a big question, have a discussion with your form and come up with ideas, both positive and negative, from different points of the argument. Do you think Christmas has lost its true meaning? So we can have points from, yes, I believe that, points, no, I don't believe that, some negative opinions, some positive opinions as well. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. <laughs>I'm presenting Buell TV this week. Um, I'm going to go through the messages for the week and then I'll tell you the stars of the week. Um, so the first message is from Maths. Make sure you have logged into Hegarty Maths to complete your maths homework. The second message is from English. Creative writers near seven have been superb with Miss Brailsford and are already earning rewards. Make sure you've been logging on to Google Classroom and asking your teacher if you have any questions. Send a message um, on Classroom if you're isolating and need some help. Um, Debate Club will be on next week for Year 10 with a brilliant new discussion topic. Miss Duval can't wait to see you there. This is a message from Science. 12 days of Christmas. Look out for questions on the Science Instagram page from the 3rd of December. Every answer gets you an entry into a prize draw for a £20 voucher. And a message from History. Reminder to Year 10 that the History Film Club is this Tuesday and we will be continuing with Selma. Uh, a message from Geography. A message from Spanish, sorry. Um, we really enjoyed International Film Club Year 10 last week. Year 9, so don't forget, French Club starts on Wednesday. Uh, in music, for anyone who is involved in our virtual Christmas concert, the recordings are happening this week. Don't forget to bring your Santa hat. In art, Year 8, so there's a reminder that those involved in the Art and Rich Club um, is on Thursday, the last two weeks for Year 11 and Year 10 intervention, and please make sure that you attend those. And a huge well done to Miss Talbot's Year 9 class on their fantastic homeworks. In drama, year nine, so there's a reminder to, to those involved in stage directions. The first workshop is Monday next week, period five, um, 1.30 to 2.45. In technology, food and nutrition students, don't forget to keep logging on to Seneca to challenge and push yourself. 
If you're not sure about how to log in, the information for that is on Google Classroom. Um, there's a whole school note here, um, so it's non-uniform day on Friday. Um, so please wear a Christmas jumper if you can and bring a £1 donation to school. It's still normal school day, so your attendance is really important and you still need to obviously bring your equipment for all your lessons and we expect the same standards of behaviour. But if you want to wear non-uniform, you can and you need to bring a £1 donation to do that. And then a final message um, about Christmas hamper collections, which are this week. So make sure you know what you're contributing and bring this in by Friday. So stars of the week. <coughs> in maths, the stars of the week. The star of the week this week is Owen Thorpe for attending Math Zoom and contributing really well to lessons. In English, it's Anthony Ward because of his superb approach to GCSE preparation. In science, it's all 10B2 for lively but knowledgeable science lessons with Miss Hall, <coughs> Hector Marquez and Matthew Collins for their hard work in the run-up to MOX, Elise Bishop and Karen Battelle for being superb, Thomas Taylor for being respectful to his peers, Chloe Johnson for going the extra mile, and um, Maria Nagir and Lucian Whedon and Angelus, Angela Sakira for outstanding homework. In history, um, Dali Komar in year seven, excellent effort and um, your wonderfully ir illustrated poster about contenders to the throne. In geography is Ella Rice in year 11 for all her hard work and dedication while she's self-isolating and Mia Defoe and Lily Higgins in year nine for excellent subject knowledge and contributions. In Spanish, um, the award goes to, the star of the week goes to Molly Barlow in year 11 for her excellent um, mock results. In music, it goes to Sarah Addy for her incredible performance of the blues piece. Um, in art, it goes to Vizana for her amazing attitude and effort in her lessons. Um, for in drama, it goes to Ayo Akintumi for their excellent work in drama and commitment in drama club. In PE, so in boys PE, um, the star of the week goes to Jake Hope because of his attitude towards PE and Enrich, which has been excellent. Aidan Cheatham for being aspirational and always wanted to develop in PE. And then in girls, PE goes to Aline Ahmed for her, her improvement in behaviour, attitude and effort over the last two weeks in PE. In technology, the stars of the week are in year seven, Molly Ingham for showing pride in her work and for her excellent extended piece of writing in food tech on diet and health. So well done, Millie. And Violet Moore in year 11 for always making an excellent effort to do her work in GCSE food and nutrition. Well done, Violet. In sports studies, um, it goes to Genevi McCoy for being such a consistent hard worker in lessons and Brandon Hedgecock for his determination to improve. So well done to all those stars of the week. Keep up the hard work and um, have a good rest of your week.